this is Janet from Paper and Spark, and I'm here today to tell you all about how to use your brand new Etsy seller spreadsheet tool. Um, if you don't have the Etsy seller spreadsheet, it's for sale at my website, which is paperandspark.com, or you can also buy it in my Etsy shop, which is also under the username Paper and Spark. Thank you so much for purchasing this tool. I hope that you find it really helpful and a game changer when it comes to bookkeeping for your creative business. Hope it makes your life a little bit easier. And secondly, this file should come with PDF instructions for how to use it, but I'm also doing this video tutorial series because I think that when it comes to spreadsheets and computer stuff, it's a lot easier to see how to do something instead of just reading how to do something. Um, so I hope that this walkthrough gives you a good idea on how to actually do everything that your spreadsheet can do. But if you have any questions or issues that come up along the way, you can always feel free to email me at paperandspark at gmail.com. Thanks. The goal of your Etsy seller spreadsheet is to help you get a handle on your finances, to better get a handle on your monthly bookkeeping work. Um, we know that you're a creative entrepreneur. You are a handmaker of goods. You enjoy being creative. You enjoy making things. You enjoy selling those things. But you might not necessarily enjoy doing the accounting for your shop. And that's understandable. That's why we've created this spreadsheet. I'm actually an accountant who became an Etsy seller over four years ago. And so I like the numbers side of the business and I like working with spreadsheets. So I figured why not help other people learn to enjoy or at least tolerate this process as well. Now the Etsy seller spreadsheet, it has some automated formulas to help you uh, process your numbers quickly and, and in an easy way that requires less work on your end. Um, it's going to help you look at your net profit every month and then your net profit for the year. And as we go over each tab and each row of the spreadsheet, we'll talk about those terms in more detail. But if you use this spreadsheet regularly, it can be a really helpful tool for you because you need to be looking at these numbers in your business. You need to stay on top of the financial side of your Etsy shop. You want to know exactly how much revenue you're bringing in, your sales, but you also really need to know your cash outflow and what you're spending each month, your expenses, because those two numbers combined are what's going to tell you if, you're, if your business is financially successful or not. And I'm guessing that at the end of the day, you opened your Etsy shop, you started this business to make money. So you need to actually be tracking whether or not you are making money. And that's what we're here to help you do. Okay, so let's get to know our Etsy seller spreadsheet a little bit. We'll talk about the different components and some of the terminology and exactly what the spreadsheet is doing for you. And then we will get down to the business of how to actually use your spreadsheet. Okay, so the heart and soul of this spreadsheet is the first tab, the monthly summary tab. And the monthly summary tab is basically breaking up your financial info by each month. So you can compare month to month and you can get a running total of your year's financial numbers as well. This tab is going to show you your net profit for each month. And your net profit is simply your total revenue less your total expenses. You might also have heard this called your net income as well. That's the same thing. 
um, your revenue is going to be all your incoming money that you make from selling your handcrafted product or selling your services, whatever is the product of your shop. Um, the main component of that as an Etsy seller will be your Etsy sales. And um, the blue rows here mean that they're coming from these blue tabs down here, which are going to be your imported Etsy CSV files. And we'll talk about how to actually import those later. So your revenue is going to be your Etsy sales plus your shipping. And when I say shipping here, I mean the shipping amount that your customers are paying you at checkout for their, their shipping charge. This is not your shipping expense. This is not what you are paying the post office to ship your goods. This is what customers are paying you. That's why it's considered revenue. For tax purposes and for purposes of this spreadsheet, we consider shipping that a customer pays you to be revenue because it's it's money coming into your bank account. So right now the shipping that customers pay you on Etsy is going to also automatically flow from these light blue tabs. Next we have refunds. This is this is obviously anytime you issue a refund for a product to a customer and it's going to be one of the few numbers on this spreadsheet that you'll need to enter as a negative. So we'll talk about that more in detail. Next we're going to have just these three rows that are just listed as other income A, B, and C. And these are customizable to you and your business. A lot of Etsy shop owners might also sell at craft shows or you might sell on consignment at some local retail shops or you might um, have some non-Etsy websites that you sell from like jane.com or you know your, your Shopify or your Squarespace site. Uh, these rows are for you to enter your, your sales and your revenue from non-Etsy sites. So you can change these to whatever title fits your needs. I'm going to pause for now and end this recording and then we'll start talking about the expenses and the rest of the spreadsheet in the next part. So I'll see you there. Thank you.